know, I've heard a lot of negative things uh, said about um, David Blaine on, on national television, but I, I tell you right now, David Blaine is every bit as popular as Houdini used to be. And why is that? It's because he's sitting down performing for real audiences, for real people, the kind of people that we bump into every day on the street. This is the guys that he's performing for. And for some reason, there's there's something attractive about that to the laity. They think that's cool. Um, and I think that's something that other magicians might be missing out on. Hopefully, just seeing my performance will give people a better respect for magic. You know, that's really my major concern for being on television. I'm not so concerned about myself uh, personally. I just don't want to give magic a bad name. My concern is for magic. It's not for myself. That's, you know, I always believe that if you just do your best at whatever you do, your, your fortune and fame will come. You don't have to go looking for it. All right, gentlemen, I'm going to show you something neat with a deck of cards. I'm going to show you how to take a deck of cards and turn it into an explosive device, okay? Uh, the way this works is first you need the right chemicals. In this case, we need some C4. C4. Now that we have the C4, what we'll do is we'll break that into its smaller components, that being TNT. Watch, we'll split the four down the middle. That gives us TNT, two and two, also known as trinitrotoluene in some circles. Now we'll take the TNT and the C4, we'll put them in the middle, make a fuse. Light the fuse, and we get an A-bomb. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll show you something else with uh, two cards, and instead of a full deck, we'll just use two cards and four half dollars. All right, four. One, two, three, and four. And uh, I'm going to cover two coins. Now I can cover the top two, the middle two, the left two, the right two. What I think I'm going to do is cover this one here and bring these two down to here. So that gives me two covered, two uncovered. And this is the coin you have to concentrate on. I'm going to leave that card face up so it highlights the location of that coin. This coin here is going to disappear. This coin here is going to disappear as well as this coin up here. But it all starts right there. That's the first coin to go. That, of course, leaves two and two to go. This one must travel this distance. This one must travel this distance. We'll cover the coins. and I'll just leave them sticking out so you can still see a little bit of them. This coin here is going to go, and this coin up here is going to go. But it all starts right there. That's the next one to go. That leaves three and one. So now this coin must travel this distance across the table, same way the other just did. Watch. It's a little toss. Did you see the coin go? That's because it didn't no, go. Right. No, As a matter of fact, all the coins traveled back to where they were. Hopefully, just seeing my performance will give people a better respect for magic.